Well, I want to thank all of the fans who uh, earlier today sent so many great wishes about today's date. Today's date will be a, a date that will live in the minds and hearts of everyone, everybody uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, back uh, in 2009, this is the day that Harry uh, passed away down in Washington, D.C. And walking out toward his statue earlier today uh, in preparation for tonight's ball game, you thought about so many different things, uh, but thought about what a great legacy that he had, not only here in Philadelphia, but also around the country, whether it be with college football or the NFL or even his great calls of the Phillies, including the 2008 World Championship. Uh, but this is always a day that uh, leaves us with heavy hearts. I mean, we see his name all the time when we walk into the booth because the booth is named for him. Uh, but we also see him and his presence out of the statue in left field. Uh, but it's remarkable that it has been seven years since Harry passed away that morning in Washington, D.C. as the Phils and the Nationals prepared uh, for the home opener for the Washington Nationals. But thanks to all the fans uh, for everything they sent uh, today, whether it be on Twitter or through email, the pictures, uh, and we know that he was so important to so many people, and he was extremely important to all of us up here in the booth. Cesar Hernandez takes inside. It's one ball and no strikes. Just a legend. The well, way you can describe. I do think it's remarkable. Uh, I was doing college basketball this past uh, this past March, and you know Harry for years worked for Westwood One, which is uh, where I worked doing the National Football League a lot during the off season. And I would hear a lot of his football calls. You know they would do some retrospects about the football seasons when Harry would do games, and you know that's where I I would get chills is to hear that. You know, even in the fall, and think about even all the commercials that he used to do, uh, including some of the obscure ones like <laughs> Mrs. Baird's Bread, Texas born, Texas bred. But we're thankful for all the memories that we have uh, of him. Uh, some are more vivid than others. 2 2 